have you ever wondered what it takes to get the entry step out of a country coach? What it looks like? Well, stay tuned. Welcome to another riveting video from Rod's Tidbits. Hope you get some use out of this. Here's the um, entry step dismantled. The bottom step, top step, and the chassis. Again, this has been sitting on the coast for 18 months. And my bad, look what the corrosion done to it. Anyway, it's going to look like brand new when it's finished again. So this is the entry step. Here's a motor mechanism. It's a, a wiper motor out of a vehicle that turns it in and out. Or that turns it in and out just some linkages these bushes need to be lubricated every now and again because they um, seize here are the runners pretty tight here we go I'm going to be replacing those so there's eight rivets that hold these in 3 16th rivets and the steps are riveted to this runner and the runner slider is bolted to the chassis top step one two three four five six, oh, six on the top eight on the bottom one two three four five six seven eight and you can see these rivets not very nice but you can see them they come through on this side Here's the mechanism again, pretty tight, seized. So this is what it looks like with the steps out. This is the step aperture. There's a metal plate that goes on the bottom down here that seals this up, but it doesn't seal it against the weather. So there's six weld nuts, one, two, three, one down there, one here, and one here, that hold a metal bar either side, and that clamps the chassis of the steps to the framework. So the actual steps are not physically bolted in, they're just clamped in. You've got the power step module. This was just replaced two years ago because it failed. So you've got the power step module, a limit switch and the motor connector. These three units have got to be disconnected. These six bolts taken out and the whole step will just drop out of here. It's heavy, so <coughs> beware. Here's the entry step motor cog. Nine tooth pinion gear, worn out as you can see. So I finally managed to find these online. You can either get the motor without the cog or the motor with the cog and they want like $200 including shipping for these things. I finally found one online, 893 from AM Products, the company that actually makes these. I went to Lippert, I went to Quick Key, e-trailer, no one would sell me just the cog. But you can get it online from AM products, they're in Oregon, $8.93 and $15 shipping. So if you ever need one of these things, they're relatively easy to replace. The entry steps have been cleaned up, taken all the corrosion off them, reprotected them with Eastwood paint, Eastwood um, rust encapsulator. But what I've done here is just haven't painted over the rust. I actually ground it all the way back. And I'll just show you what I used again, the grinder and the grinding pads and wire brushes and the paint. So this one's got new slides or it's got the large slides. The smaller slides were okay. The large slides are, are new, clean up, repainted. Really happy with it actually. 
And as I say, it's, I'm not going to match it to the colour of the coach. I'm going to put the stainless steel covers on this, which is a lot better because the coach colours they scratch anyway. So putting the stainless steel covers on this um, come from Summit. A couple of things to note when you're taking these steps apart and if you're putting them back together, make a note of which way the bolts face. If you've got a long shank heading out the bottom and this thing starts to collapse up, there's a possibility for a jam. So just make a note of which way they go around. Um, the other thing that I noticed on here is the block. This block here, which is on the top step, it's not square. It's a sort of a rectangle. And one thing that I fell foul of when I put it in, it kept, this block rides on this rail. And when I put this block in, it screws in from underneath there. It lifted the rail up and it misaligned the holes, the inner holes of the step where those three rivets are. So I had to take it back out again. Let's take that block out, turn it around, and it drops a step down just enough so you can align these holes in the slide rail. Silly little thing, but I wonder why none of the holes lined up. Soon found out it was that block. It's not square. So make a note of that when it comes out. Make a note of where these bolts, which way the bolts go in, because as you can see, if you put the bolt in the wrong way, when the slider comes in and out, it's going to start failing on the scissor mechanism. So make sure you put these bolts in the right way around. What else did I find on this? Previously where this had all been tucked up, the wires, the mechanism was hitting the wires. So there's another thing when I put this back in, I'm going to make sure that these wires are way out of the way of the mechanism. Oh, there was one other thing. These bolts. Now, the bolts that are in these going through the bushings, they're fully threaded bolts. And what they do, as they're fully threaded, there's no really bearing surface except the very tip of a thread. And it wears through the bushings. So what I've done is I've got some extra length bolts with a shank, a long shank, um, longer than I needed. Put a die on it, put a bit more thread on it, cut the end of the bolt off to the size that I wanted. So now I've got a shank on the bearing inside these. So there was what, one, two, three, four of those I had to do because the thread had just worn through the, um, the Fosserons bushings. Another little tip bit. Anything else I can think of in doing this? Um, as I said, when I took this apart, these rivets in the bottom step, the blind part of the rivet was on the inside of the step. And it was a bit nasty looking so now I've got the top part of the rivet on the step and as I say what I'm going to do with this is put the stainless steel cover over this so that's why I've left it in black um, it's a, a rust prevention paint that's on here now if I think of anything else while I'm doing it I will um, add it to this video anyway what I'm going to do is power this in now Power it in and out, make sure it all runs nicely before I hang it back in the coach. Now we're going to power this puppy up. I've just got it running off a battery for a minute, just to make sure it runs in and out correctly. And to see if there's any foul. That sounds nice, doesn't it? 
Turn it the other way. See what I was talking about these, the scissor mechanism in here, make sure it doesn't fail. So we're going to attempt to put the slide back in, the step slide. And we're going to be using the trolley jack. A piece of wood strategically placed. Don't forget, this thing's heavy. Heavy with a capital H. Or in American terms, heavy, because you don't pronounce the H very much. Let's see. about right. Let's see. Remember I said these are clamped in. So you've got these bars and essentially this clamps up between here and the chassis rail. A video of the installed new doorstep um, you can see it's held in with these three bolts either side one here one here one there and the same the other side this clamp this brace clamps a step assembly to the chassis when you um, if you ever take these out and put them back in these wires were a right mess back here when I pulled them out and it was hitting the mechanism so now I've made sure that all the wires are up out of the way and when the mechanism opens it doesn't hit anything there's an air valve also a water drain for the um, tank that's up the top there so you take these six bolts out, one, two, three, three up the front there, put your trolley jack underneath the step, disconnect the electrics and then lower this whole mechanism down and um, when you finish 
put it back up the same way. See, here she is, fully installed. Nice and neat. Looks 10 times better than what it was. Doesn't grunch, doesn't grind when it comes in and out. And it's not that wonderful rust color. All the rust has been taken off, it's been protected. Um, it's got this Eastwood paint on it, which is a rust encapsulator and protector. A thousand hour salt spray test this stuff has. Um, it's got good reviews as well. So anyway, I'm using it quite a bit on the coach. I'm going to be putting the stainless steel step cover on top of this. The wife will be happy now. She's not got to climb in and out with a step ladder. So I hope you guys get something from this. As I say, even if it's you want to know where the controller is, where the motor is, where the connectors are, where the bolts are that you want to take this thing out. If you've got a trolley jack, you can get it out quite easily. Put the trolley jack and a piece of wood underneath support, take the six bolts out and then let it down. Really pleased with that, another project done on this coach. Now start on the next one. Anyway, until next time, stay tuned and um, catch you later.